Hi YouTube, it's Penny. I wanted to share a couple things that I received from the Lord last night. Um, the first one was a dream. I had a dream where I was touring a large museum, like one of the Smithsonian museums in Washington DC, and there were many elaborate displays with fancy audiovisual presentations and hands-on demonstrations, and it was called the Truth Museum. So as I was walking around the museum, I kept trying to find truth about the Lord. And um, I opened the brochure, and there were three categories of um, exhibits. Um, and But I, when I woke up, I could only remember one was called religion and one was called science. Um, but all of the displays in the religion category were new age, like about crystals and astrology and things like that. And then um, the displays in the science category were all things like evolution, so um, I scanned under the uh, the list under the heading of religion, looking for anything about you know Yahovah or Yeshua Jesus or the Holy Spirit Ruach Hakodesh, um, and I did find something called the Spirit. So I went to um, that exhibit to watch that presentation, and when I walked into the room, it was very small by comparison to the other rooms, and there were not very many people in there, and there was a small stage. Um, almost like you'd see like in a sideshow of a circus or something. And this woman was holding something that to me looked like a big sock puppet in the shape of a snake and it had three eyes. Um, it looked like it was alive to everyone else, but I knew that it was just mechanical and it was just a puppet. And I had two thoughts. I thought first, I can't believe our tax dollars are paying for this. And the second thing I thought is this must certainly grieve the Holy Spirit. And then when I woke up, I also I wondered if the reason I couldn't remember the third category in the brochure is because maybe it's symbolic of the fact that America has not been able to remember the truth about God <clears throat> since we kicked him out of the public square and replaced him with things that we now call religion and science. And the scripture, I got two. The first one was Sirach 37, 23, a wise man instructs his people, and the fruits of his understanding fail not. So I felt like that was confirmation that I had an accurate interpretation of the dream. <clears throat> and then the second one was Daniel, Daniel 8, 9 through 12. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceedingly great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. Yea, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. And a host was given to him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression, and it cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced and prospered. So I thought that was interesting that he gave me that scripture, considering that the, the dream was about the truth museum. And here he's saying, it cast down truth to the ground. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the universe. Amen.